hey guys, it's me, B. Riley. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. And at long last, we're going to start putting together the John Monroe SG and getting it to a point where it's in like a kind of a shakedown mode um, where everything is kind of bolted together just enough to work properly and be secure. Uh, just so we can kind of run it through a couple checks to see how the electronics are doing because some of that stuff is not looking too great in the electronics uh, in the cavity there. Um, you know, and kind of just see if we find anything that needs to be addressed before we really go through a finish here where everything is put back together for good and really cleaned up and finished up and we do some shielding and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to bring you in tight real quick right here and show you what we did. If you've actually been watching uh, this one uh, right from episode one, you might remember that there was a wire that was kind of just bridged between this post and this post. And this was a full-size cover, so they had just strung this wire over this section here, which is why there were impressions in the paint and everything like that. And we've got some of those impressions out while we were color, uh, uh, coloring up that, uh, that fill. Uh, but the thing is, is that now we have a problem where we don't have a ground wire going to this. So what I do is, is I drill down uh, from this angle downward, uh, but siding from directly above so that I know that I have an intercept point at which these two are going to run into each other. And then I drill very, very slowly downward like an oil derrick. If you were looking underneath, it would kind of be like along this line. And then I do this while I put my hand on the post like this. And what I'm doing is as I'm drilling down and I've got my fingers on this post like this, you're going to feel the vibration on the post quicker than you would hear it. Like when you're doing auto body work, you're going to feel the imperfection in the surface before you see it with light necessarily. The hand catches a lot. So if you put your fingers right here, it's almost kind of like a bit of a, you know, like a telegraph post. Essentially, when you're hitting it underneath the leverage and the impact, you're going to feel it right there. As soon as you feel that contact, okay, go ahead and stop drilling. And then you just drop a screw in there. Any old wood screw, as long as it's appropriately sized, you don't want to split the wood or anything like that. You also don't want to stress out this wood. So you want to make sure that when you're drilling a hole, you're drilling it very, very small. This is like a little over a pick guard screw size. We're going to go ahead and put the screw back in, mark the length off, and then we're going to lop the head off the screw, flatten the very top of the thread, cut a flat head screw, a very small bit, uh, into the top of the head, and then use a wire up against it slot that in there with a spring so that we have good contact that we have an anchor now that people can use and also remove and it'll be almost completely flush against the wood so you'll only see really the wire protruding and then if you just look inside you'll see the polished head of the threads with a little notch for a flat head and it's fairly loose fitting it's just meant to anchor it uh, it doesn't need to have any type of structural bite so you know you don't want to use something that's oversized if you're putting a screw in there and it's tight don't continue threading it because uh, it's so close to the surface that you'll get uh, some cracking in the finish here as the wood flexes. Uh, but um, yeah, that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to see how that comes out. 